On the western edge of Sydney CBD, one of the world's most ambitious transformations is underway at a 22 hectare former container port. This blank canvas of concrete is going to become Barangaroo, a new harbourside extension of Sydney where people will work, live and play. We've inherited a pretty much flat slab area here um, and our end goal is looking to represent what you see commonly around Sydney Harbour in that sandstone outcrops and shoreline effect. We're excavating a large sandstone extraction pit here and using sandstone blocks to put around the foreshore. We're following very traditional stonemason methodologies. We're using bigger plant and equipment now, quite, you know, up to 60 tonne excavators and large three metre diameter saws, but we're still using those old techniques. I think where we have deviated away from using the old techniques is the tracking of the blocks and the identification of the blocks. We've developed our ball of stone inventory application here, which basically allows me to um, add a new item in the case of a, a, a new uh, block that comes out of the quarry. From here, I can enter in various attributes such as dimensions, its position, its weight, various attributes like that. That all gets then loaded over 3G up onto a central database. Then when we've done that, we'll look at the different attributes of the block. Uh, we'll look at its strength characteristics by, by looking at the veins in it and how strong it looks, if there's any visual sign of cracking. We'll do some testing on it. And depending on that, we'll allocate it a final location. Uh, it's almost like a, a paint by numbers um, painting where you've got each block has an individual ID or number and that's got to be put in the foreshore so that it fits into this jigsaw puzzle. It's quite easy for us to go and change heights of blocks and move blocks around. So that allows us to make changes quite quickly. That information also feeds into the QR codes that we put on each of the block and that QR code would have block sizes, block numbers, where the block has come from, uh, whether it's going to be have a rock pool in it or whether it's going to have the side shaved off um, and we can go out then with tablets and just scan that block and have all this information provided to us straight away and I guess we're at a lucky point that this technology probably wouldn't have been as readily available five or six years ago so you know with the use of smartphones and, and tablets it's a lot easier to get that information and the QR codes are so simple to attach now that um, we're, we're using the best of what's available in the market. And a, a lot of this park is going to be appreciated from the water as well as from the land. So we often focus on it in terms of the footpaths and, and the interaction with the, the community and the people in the office buildings and say how fantastic it's going to be for them to have this and people that come in for concerts. But it's also going to be really great for people on the water. And, and it's really trying to represent the sandstone, the natural sandstone that's around Sydney. And this is just another modern slant on, on the way forward and the way we should continue to use sandstone and appreciate sandstone in Sydney.